Hey everybody, it's Paul WP, Gabriel Samadhi. Took a little few days break from uh, making YouTube videos. Got on Instagram. <laughs> I, I uh, got off of social media, like when Facebook was new. <laughs> and I haven't been involved in social media since then recently for the past few months uh so you know you want to go check me out on instagram i'm under uh samadhi gabriel gabriel samadhi <laughs> uh you just search that and you can find me find out what i look like too gabriel samadhi anyway not that anyone really cares no one watches this shit that's alright, because they'll watch it one day. It'll be there forever. Uh, I got another poem to share. I wrote this one a few days ago. It's called From the Top of the Head to the Bottom of the Soul. Eternity is like a flower that continue that's continuously in front of our face the whole time. We just don't notice it. Intention holds more power than definition. Pain is temporary. Love is eternal. Life has its symmetries. The mirror mind, shattered shadow sides, lackluster measurements in the 3D world, the geometry of the spirit, the side-saddled goddess has done hooked the steed to a chariot. Birth pains of a new era... What contrast do you find within yourself? Can they meet somewhere in the middle? If you are afraid to question yourself, you will fall for something simple. I already had all the pain. The bottom don't mean shit to me. I bought a fucking condo there. I'll forever be pulling souls out of hell until there's none left. <laughs> that notion warms my heart. I'm just a man, but I am a man. That poem is about me coming to terms with my relentless and undeniable nature. This is a book, by the way. I'm recommending this book, it's awesome. My, un my unrelenting and undeniable nature To be like a flame that draws in the wounded. And I try to mend them. You know? I mean, I don't really... It's just like this compulsion. I want to, like, heal people. <laughs> uh, you know, and the ego, and you got to pick your battles, you know? You can't play Captain save -a all the damn time. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Don't save her. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to look for people that actually want to get out of their shit. Sometimes they think they do, but then they realize, hey, hey it's too scary. And they get back in their comfortable shit that they know and hurt makes them hurt. You know, and it's sad. It's very sad. At least it has been for me. Like, you try to reach out to people, you know. Uh, and then they get their ego involved and they miss the whole goddamn point. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's a learning process. But that doesn't mean you should quit being true to yourself or speaking from the heart or being... See, to be true to yourself, you gotta be true to everybody else. Because we're all one. <laughs> You act like a shit to somebody else. Especially when it's unjust and like for no reason. Like when like if they if they pull that out of you and act like a act mean to you and then you like hey. You know, you have a moment of weakness and you talk shit back to them or whatever, you know, that's one thing. When you just go around mean mugging people and just acting like a shit. That doesn't help anything. You know? 
It's crazy times we live in in America now. Uh, Trump has driven everybody nuts. Because... <laughs> yeah, I think he'll be gone in a couple months or so, hopefully. That's what, that's what drove me to action. That's what made me start caring again, actually. I mean, I care it all along, but... You, you have to, we have to put in our two cents, you know? You don't want to go on to the next level and realize you uh, left a lot of things undone that you should have done. Because you have to come back and do this shit again. I mean, we probably have to do it anyway. But you don't want to live the same life over and over again, man. You just you're swimming, you're swimming on a current against the current, and you're just standing still. You know, a lot of people spend lifetime after lifetime just swimming in the current, but not moving forward because they're swimming against the current, and they just stay in one position of their spiritual progression, and they don't push forward. And. uh I try to give them a little push, you know. <laughs> Unfortunately, it only works about 15% of the time. I'm trying to get my percentages up. I got to learn. I got to get more Dharma keys. I got to learn more ways to reach people. I got to learn to read better, read people better, and open their minds. See, everyone has their own unique key to open their mind. It's different for everybody. The goal is liberation. The goal is to be here now, as Ram Dass says. All we have is now in the presence of now. Don't find fault in the thought of tomorrow. Don't live in the past. Embrace the full essence of the beauty of this moment. Especially if it's not bad. If you're not in pain. If your stomach's full. If you're not thirsty. Embrace the beauty of that moment. Anyway, I guess I'll quit rambling now. Take it easy, guys.